the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. This is where Adesanya gets dangerous. He picks his shots, switches his stances, finds openings, gets in range. Dead knee landed, and Rob Thomas Two. is on the glue. Nervous, not knowing Shoot. what's going to happen. He shoots, goes for the takedown. Oh, Israel with the takedown in the mound. Israel. Oh, he comes. Adesanya feels he's the man that can take glory and this middleweight division to the next level. He's going to talk on the microphone. He's flashy. He's fly. He's young, and he is spectacular when he wants to be. Adesanya is fighting. He's a bad motherfucker. That should be interesting. Melvin's got to move! He's got to move here! Big oh, call the big knee! knee. He goes big down. knee by Israel! Melvin's stuck in the corner! Israel's going to drop oh, it's over! over. It's all over oh, there! You have it. If it came down to it, I'm fighting an Australian, and I come from New Zealand heritage of fighters. Like, my lineage is, I learned how to fight from Eugene Behrman, and he learned how to fight from Lolo. Hey Muli, who was a maker of champions, and that's the Balmoral lineage. So I represent New Zealand when I fight, and also represent Nigeria because that's my bloodline, and we come from a, a line of warriors, you know? I'm from a royal background. <laughs> Fighting now is just to showcase. I just want to show off, show what I can do, show my skill set, because I've always been an entertainer throughout my years, through dancing, through just being a clown, being a goofball, and yeah, I just think it's now, now is the time to just Wait, showcase uh, what I can do. Stay long. Uh, Give me the hook. Uh, My motivation. Hook. Uh, uh, that's it. Pretty much uh, in life is just to be balanced. I always seek f for balance. And it's never one place. So it's just there. I'm like, I feel content. I feel happy. I'm loving life. It always fluctuates. You know, like anything in life. It's the ebbs and flows. Yeah. So I just want to be happy. But in fighting, people are like, why do you fight? What's the reason? I'm like... I'm finding out. I definitely want to be immortal. Like the way people talk about Ali right now, the way to talk about, yeah. you know, Sugar Ray, Bruce Lee, all the greats, you know. I want to be in that conversation. Don't worry about fatigue. That's the goal. Make yourself as tired as you can. We wanted to come into the UFC and not just be another name and another number. We want to come in here at a very high level and be, being like, if they, if they want us to fight a top 10 guy straight away, then we want the ability to be able to uh, confidently say, yeah, we'll do it straight away. No recovery. Yeah, definitely one of the goals to off the list in the UFC. And now I've got a shitload, but I'm definitely getting that belt. That belt, and that's not, that's not like the pinnacle as well. A lot of people just get in the UFC as the pinnacle and that's it. I'll give them my best shot. I'm like, nah. Again, that belt, not just that, is more. I'm going for more. 25, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep so I'm fighting uh, Rob Wilkinson in Perth on oh. UFC 221. And I'm excited. For me, I just want to walk out there, get the job done, and then just that. That's one thing I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to look forward to when, when I end him, is just that. And the place just erupts. Because at Perth Arena, it's a big spot. And I'm just gonna take that, I'm just gonna take that energy, soak it in. Being here right now, realizing that I belong here, like realizing that I'm supposed to be here, 